Will you follow Jesus all the way? A blessed day, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Hedy Lamar was often referred to as the most beautiful woman in film. But more than her beauty and screen presence that made her one of the most popular actresses during her time, Hedy was likewise an inventor with a bright and sharp mind. She was an admired beauty and brains icon. Her intelligence along with their collaboration with the trailblazing composer George Antiel led her to develop a new method of frequency hopping a technique for disguising radio transmissions by making the signal jump between different channels in a prearranged pattern their invention the secret communication system was developed to thwart the Nazis during World War II. However, the U.S. Navy shelved their findings, not being too keen on its value at that time. It was not until years later when other inventors realized how pioneering and groundbreaking their discovery was. Today, if you are a smartphone user, you can thank Hedy Lamar, her work in the communication system was a precursor to wireless technologies including Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Her contribution to communication technology could not be overlooked. The Twelve Apostles have made a lasting impact in the spread of Jesus' teaching and are always remembered and etched in the history of Christianity. However, the role of the women in Jesus' group was as important and critical. In today's Gospel reading, the women who traveled with Jesus were not just financially supporting the mission, but risking their reputation, as well as that of Jesus and his followers. The women's presence among Jesus' disciples was counter-cultural and highly uncommon. With their different social background, it was an unusual company. One had a dark and troubled past, while another had an influential status whose husband was Herod's financial controller. Yet they chose to follow Jesus and risk it all. What brings them together and into harmonious company is the love of Jesus, who likened the church to a great tree in which all sorts of birds can seek refuge. It is this love that motivated the women to follow Jesus in every town where he preached. They had a deep-seated conviction that Jesus was the Son of God. Their transformation committed them to give back by seeing to it that the mission of Jesus continues. Hence, apart from the moral support, they provided for the needs of the group. As we are all aware, finance is essential in every undertaking we do. Without sufficient resources, we may have challenges meeting our goals and objectives. The reading also tells us that if we allow Jesus to touch our lives and transform us, and if we receive healing and forgiveness, we truly become His followers. The women's desire to follow Jesus was not only a result of emotions. 
there was overflowing gratitude. And as a result, a deep emotional bond was formed. But the bond went so much deeper. It was a bond created by the gift of grace and salvation. The women experienced a greater level of freedom from sin. Grace changed their lives and they were ready, willing, and inspired to make Jesus the center of their lives, following Him wherever He went. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, pour upon us an abundance of your grace so that we may be transformed, ready, and willing to follow you all the way. Jesus, we trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.